G'day guys, it's Jake here. Today I'm gonna to be running you through how to set up quality of service on Hyper-V to limit your IALPS on your hard drive or virtual hard drive usage. So basically this can be useful if you're running multiple servers and some of them can get a little bit resource intensive and you don't want them to use all of your disk speed. So it's quite practical to do Let's say something happens on a server and it just starts hammering the disk and then it's gonna slow down all of your other servers. So basically what we're gonna do is set these maximum IOPS. So just for testing purposes, I'm gonna use Parkdale here just to show you that it's working. So if I use Parkdale, what this does is this does a benchmark on my system and it will do the sequential write speed, which you can see there is around 245 megabytes a second and also the sequential read speed on my current VHD. So this is running in a Hyper-V virtual machine and you can see here I've got reasonably good speeds. Getting sequential write of 257 megabytes, sequential read of 354 megabytes. Then it's gonna go through and do a random read and write. So you can here see there the random write speed is 992.5 kilobytes and the random read speed is 22 megabytes. So what we can do is if we just go file settings, find the virtual hard drive you want to set the quality of service on, click quality of service, enable quality of service management, and we're just going to set it to 400 IOPS. So if I hit apply, so that's gonna mean the minimum amount it can use is zero IOPS and the maximum amount it can use is 400. So if I hit start on here now, so you don't have to turn off your virtual machine to do this, um, it will just work. So you can see now that is a lot slower. So straight away you can see I have limited that by a good 100 there. Probably by 100 times slower. Let's just change this while it's live. So if we just change this here to 4,000 IOPS and hit apply, we should see this number start going up. So as you can see now, I've allowed it more access to my virtual hard drive, more read and write speed, and you can see it's pumping up. So it is allowing it to use more. Um, so that's basically it. That is how to set up QoS on your SSD or um, your VHD, sorry, which mine's running on an SSD. But yeah, it's quite simple. So if you have a lot of servers that are running and you want to be careful that one of them doesn't start using all of the hard drive resources, RAM's pretty simple to um, manage. But yeah, so you just go to the advanced settings. So we'll show you that again. Just basically go settings, expand out the drive and click quality of service. Tick the box and set what you want to do. Anyway guys, don't forget like and subscribe to see more and we'll see you in the next video.